So you leave the bed? No, just leave me for the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you fight? You know when I fight. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> How you know. know. Fight. What day? I fight with the Haney. May 12th. May 12th? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know you. I thought it was like May 20th. You May 20th? May 20th. No, 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 May 12th. Uh, oh, May 20th, yes, yeah, sorry. See, sorry. look, look. Hey. See, look, he's it's arriving. Right. Come on, it's not my native language. <laughs> Now we are familiar with how things go in the sport of boxing when you're too good for your own good. And this tends to be the case now for Shakur Stevenson. Um, I, I feel like he's the bad guy, you know, right now in the sport of boxing. I feel like he's the he's the he's one of the main villains in the sport of boxing. And all I see is a young man that's trying to fight some of the best guys in his weight class. That's all I see. But... Today, in a modern day age of boxing, if you're a guy that's too good for your own good, and if you're pressing certain fighters, um, things can tend to take a, 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 a things can tend to not go your way. And yeah, of course, Stevenson apparently Vasily Lomachenko has turned down the fight. Right? Um, I think Lomachenko is trying to fight George Gambosis in a fight in Australia, but. We'll say that for another day. But, of course, Stevenson came out and says this. Man, Ed Vasily Lomachuk, I used to have a lot of respect for you, but you just as scary as everybody else, I see. you rather retire than get in the ring with me. Then he got laughing emoji with the duck symbol. Then he said, there's no better option on the table for him at Cleamish Box. And tell your fighter to drop his nuts and get in the ring with me. Wow. Of course, Stevenson is, is a nasty dude. And he, he, he seems the really really poke at the hornet's nest to try to get these guys in the ring but these guys ain't trying to get in the ring i mean now we've seen guys like edwin de los santos and jermaine ortiz in the past express interest in face of score stevenson but as of right now i haven't seen those guys say anything and after de los santos last fight his impressive performance he didn't necessarily say i was going to be fighting Shakur stevenson but i think Shakur stevenson he said he made a mistake right and i think his mistake is this he says then somebody says, you should have never sparred the man. You ruined it for yourself in regards to, you know, him sparring with Lomachenko some time ago, right? And then Shakur says, nah, you're right, though, for real. I sparred a lot of these fighters before, and that's my biggest problem. So a lot of these dudes got a sample of young Shakur Stevenson. And now as a professional, as a, a growing man, um, they don't want no smoke with him, you know. But guys may tend to say things like 25%. He should have took the 25%, but... I think that's kind of old news because the WBC came out and said, look, man, we go try to mandate this fight, blah, blah, blah. If he mandated it, then he'll be getting like a 33%. So, yeah, um, the 25% was just a, as a cover-up from Devin Team Haney, man. And I like the Haney, so let's not get it twisted, but I got to call a spade a spade. Um, Devin Haney never, never seemed interested in fighting Shakur Stevenson, especially um, after his most recent fight. Um, before that, he seemed like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to fight Tang. I'm going to fight Shakur before I leave 135. He go up in there with Lomachenko, and now the energy is just totally different, right? Now Shakur Stevenson is looked, like, like looked at as a bad guy. He's looked at as a fighter that's desperate. And all this other crazy shit that fans come up with when they don't want to see one of their favorite fighters get whooped on by another guy. You know, right? this, is just, this is just familiar territory when you've been doing this boxing shit for a long time, right? And then somebody mentions Frank DeGhost Martin. Now, Frank DeGhost Martin is available, and Frank DeGhost Martin is likely one of the guys that's up next in line for a world title shot as well as guys like Shakur Stevenson. And somebody says, hey, Shakur, now that that Loma talk seems dead, I heard a ghost is looking for you. And then he says, I never believed in ghosts, but I'm right here. I ain't hard to find. So Shakur says, look, man, I'll fight the Frank DeGhost Martin. I'll fight this guy. I'll fight that guy. I ain't hard to find. I say, let's see it, right? I mean, at the end of the day, bro, right, you know, Shakur going back and forth. Shakur is keeping his name in the mix, right? When he's not active in the ring, and we know, let's 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 be honest. You know, Shakur Stevenson is a phenomenal, phenomenal talent, right? You would think that he was a fighter that was, um, to me, his fights are exciting, right? Um, especially more recently, as he's starting to get stronger and stronger, and he's getting older. He's he's really starting to put them punches together. And he's cracking these dudes hard. It's only a matter of time before them really the stoppages really start to come in, but. 
I don't understand what's the hate, right? He's doing what we want to see from fighters. We want to see fighters pressing these guys. We want to see fighters looking for some of the top guys in the weight class. I mean, he's new in the weight class, and he's already trying to fight the top guys. But unfortunately for him, the guys that's at the top don't want no smoke. So he's going to have to look down a little further and face guys like Frank Martin, guys that's willing to fight, guys like Edwin D. Los Santos, guys like Jermaine Ortiz. These are the options that Shakur Stevenson is going to have to take until something falls his way. Devin Haney is looking to fight Regis Progre at 140 pounds. Will he come back down? I don't know, right? I, I, I don't really see Devin Haney trying to fight Shakur. I, I'm not saying he won't fight Shakur, but I don't think he really wants to entertain that fight right now so yeah Shakur Stevenson is looked at as a bad guy in the sport of boxing I don't think it's really warranted but I think this is just the way things are set up today in the modern age social media age of boxing fans get on social media they can um, convert conversate with the fighters and and take shots at them and talk shit and do all this other foolishness you know and these narratives to start to spray it out, you know, like like Shakur is desperate and Shakur is cloud chasing, Shakur is this and Shakur is that. But all I see is a young dude that's trying to press some of the other top fighters in his weight class. That's all I see. I don't see any of this other stuff. That everybody trying to make it out to more than really what it is. That this guy's being desperate. I mean, I thought we wanted guys to hop in the ring and press the the, the, the guy that just beat the other guy. When it, when it's their favorite fighter, they cool with it. When Errol Spence was doing it to Danny Garcia and, and Sean Porter and whoever else, Manny Pacquiao, all these other guys, when he was doing it to them, it was cool. But when Shakur was doing it to Devin, it was a problem. He was cloud chasing. He was hating. I mean, look, man, at the end of the day, Lomachenko, the pit bull, Devin Haney, one of these guys eventually will have to face Shakur Stevenson. Like, subscribe, how's your boy? Peace out.